Hello. <clears throat> the objective of this video is to learn how to simplify powers of monomials. Remember, one of the laws of exponents is to multiply powers with the same base, add their exponents. We're going to be using that law as part of this process. All right, power of a power. What is power of a power? That's when you're raising an exponent to an exponent. <clears throat> so this is 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 3. 3 squared cubed. Which means that we're taking 3 squared and multiplying it by itself 3 times. Now remember when I talked about that law there, it said that since we're multiplying like bases, we would add the exponents. 2 plus 2 plus 2 gives me 3 to the 6th power. Now here's another example where I have 8 to the 5th to the 4th power. Which means I'm doing 8 to the 5th times 8 to the 5th times 8 to the 5th times 8 to the 5th. Which means I'm going to add those exponents. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 5, 10, 15, 20. Anyway, it sounds like I'm doing the multiplication, the 5 times table there. That's it. I could just multiply this exponent by that exponent and get that number. 5 times 4 gives me 20. 2 times 3 gives me 6. So we've come up with another law of exponents, which says to find a power of a power, multiply the exponents. So when you have 5 to the 8th to the 3rd power, that becomes 5 to the 8 times 3, which becomes 5 to the 24th power. Algebraically, this is written as x to the a to the b is written as x to the a times b. Alright, you do. Here's four problems I want you to try on your own. Pause the video, try them out. Welcome back. This one becomes h to the 6 times 4, which becomes h to the 24th power. This one becomes y to the 5 times 9, which is equal to y to the 45th power. This one becomes x to the 3 times 3, which is x to the 9th power. Now this last one may get a little tricky here. You have to realize that you're raising a power to a power to a power. But the law still applies. You can multiply all these through. So this becomes a to the 2 times 3 times 4. Just multiply all three exponents. And you're going to get 6 times 4 is 24. So you get a to the 24th power. Hopefully you got answers that agree. What about the power of a product? You know, monomials can exist in, in, with numbers and variables, not just numbers or just variables. They can have a combination. So here we have a power of a product, 2 times x squared to the third power. Well, again, we break it down like this. We have 2x squared times 2x squared times 2x squared. This whole thing is being multiplied by itself three times. If we break that out, or since this is all being multiplied, we can rearrange the order it's in. That's according to the uh, associative property, sorry, associative property, uh, commutative property of multiplication. Commutative property of multiplication. So we can change the order here so we get 2 times 2 times 2. Bring all the numbers together. Then bring the letters together. x squared times x squared times x squared. Well, 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the third power. x squared times itself 3 times is going to be x to the sixth power. So this is what we get as a simplified product. Notice how the x squared got that 2 times a 3, which became the 6. And the 2 got the power of 3 as well. That is the next law of exponents. 
to find the power of a product, find the power of each factor and multiply. For example, here's another one. We have 5y squared z to the fourth cubed. The 5 is going to get cubed. The y squared is going to get cubed. The z to the fourth power is going to get cubed. 5 cubed gives you 5 times 5 times 5, which gives you 125. Y squared cubed becomes Y to the 2 times 3, which is 6. Z to the 4th power cubed becomes Z to the 4 times 3, which is 12. So you get a final answer of 125, Y to the 6th, Z to the 12th. When you are asked to express as a monomial, the number should be worked out to an actual number, not left with the exponent on it. Algebraically, this is written as x, y, in parentheses, to the a power, is equal to, a to the, x to the a times y to the a. Lots of tests and textbooks like to put things into real-world terms. Well, this is as close to a real-world situation that our textbooks have come close to here. It says, express the area of a square as a monomial. Here they give you the square, they give you the length of one side as 3x squared y to the fourth. They also tell you in this particular problem that the area is s squared, the length of one side squared. That is something you would be expected to know. So hopefully you won't have to go back to a reference sheet to see this, or you won't have to see that formula there. You'll know that the area of a square is the length of one side squared, which means that the area here is going to be 3x squared y to the fourth, that whole thing squared. Which means this gets squared, 3 squared. This gets squared, x to the 2 times 2 is 4. This gets squared, 4 times 2 is 8. And you should take one less step from one more step from there. Three squared is nine. So you get nine x to the fourth, y to the eighth, and that's your area expressed as a monomial. Remember when they ask you to express anything as a monomial, the front number, if it is a number there, it should be worked out to an actual standard form. Should not be left with the exponent on. The exponent should only remain on the variables. All right, you do. Three, pro three more problems to try here. Pause the video, give it a try. Welcome back. All right, to simplify this one, you would put 2 to the 4th power. A to the 7 to the 4th would be 7 times 4, which is A to the 28th. 10 times 4 is 40, so you get B to the 40th. 2 to the 4th is 2, 4, 8, 16 is 16, A to the 28th, B to the 40th. That would be your final answer on that one. Over here, you would be putting negative 3 to the 3rd power. And since this is in parentheses, we are going to include that 3 in the exponent here. So this is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 which is actually going to give us negative 27. y to the fourth cubed is going to do 4 times 3, which is 12, so you get y to the 12th. 9 times 3 is 27, so you get z to the 27th. Over here, you would take the length of this side, and you would square it, so you would get 12a to the 6th, B squared squared. 12 squared is 144. 6 times 2 is 12, so you get A to the 12. 2 times 2 is 4, so you get B to the 4th. And there's your final answer on that one. See you in class.